Hey folks, Ned Pyle here again. Today I'm going to talk about a new feature coming to Windows and Windows Server. It is SMB compression. Uh, you have been using compression with zip files and other technologies probably your entire IT career. And what we are adding now is the ability to inline compress while you're copying files, saving you bandwidth and time, especially when you're moving really big data. So let's show this in a demo real fast. So here's my usual robocopy job I'm running. I'm copying a um, 10 gig file. It's a pretty compressible file. You know, it's sort of like a VHD or an ISO or something like that. And you can see that it's using a lot of network right now, uh, quite a bit of, of the actual network bandwidth. And it's not copying particularly, you know, uh, slow. It's copying at the throughput that I would expect for this, you know, um, network with its amount of congestion on it. And I'm going to time compress this just to save a little time here in the demo. I'm using a few, you know, small percentage of CPU. It's not so bad. So I copied in about two minutes, which is completely expected best case for this one gigabit network. So now, um, what if I was to do this exact same operation, but with compression? So I'm going to delete this file off the destination. Oop. And let's go ahead and try this again with RoboCopy. Um, this time with a new option that's been added to RoboCopy called Compress. And that's going to turn on the SMB flag to do compression. And you can see right away that I am going way faster. Uh, you can see that my network performance, my network usage is way down. I'm barely touching this network now. Um, my CPU is not appreciably that much different, you know, 6 or 7%, give or take. And it's really almost done. I have not done any time lapse. In fact, we're finished now. And instead of taking two minutes, this period here was only about 23 seconds. So that exact same file, 10 gig, Instead of two minutes, 23 seconds. Now, what if that file was um, not very compressible? Let's say it was an extremely well-designed file format, a JPEG or something like that, that already has an enormous amount of like you know compression built into it itself. So here I'm copying a file which really doesn't compress at all. It's and uh, you know, I'm getting that same throughput I was before, and I'm really kind of worried. This is a one. This is a five gig file, so it took about half the time. It took about instead of two minutes, it took about a minute. I, I'm really kind of worried this time that uh, what if I was to try and copy files that won't compress, and I have compression turned on? Would that make it a little bit slower as it wastes time, or actually perhaps even um, uses more CPU just to find out that the file, you know, couldn't have been compressed anyway? I mean, how do I even know sometimes? So I'm using the compress option. Notice that it took the same amount of time. We actually sample as we compress, even when you put the flag on, to see if it seems like the file is compressing well or not. And if it doesn't, we just ignore your flag and carry on copying the file normally without compression. Pretty slick. So that was the demo. I hope you found it interesting. Uh, SMB compression is a real game changer for people copying large amounts of data. And as time has gone by and proven to us, files get bigger, not smaller. So SMB compression is there to help for you in the future. For more information, take out the URL on the screen here somewhere, and I will talk to you later.